Hello guys, this is Rahul, your review mate, and you are watching Review Mates. So today we are going to review a launcher app on Android. And if we talk about launcher, since Android is very customizable, so you can download tons of launchers from the Google Play Store, and each one offers some kind of functionality which might be different from the others, or which might be the USP of the product. But today we are going to review a launcher from Microsoft, which is Arrow Launcher, and as you can see. It looks visibly very good. You get, uh, you can customize it in a lot of ways. And what are the ways to customize it, and what are the ways of using it? We will talk about that in this review. So as you can see, it has got a home page which can be scrolled down. That means vertically, or it can be scrolled even horizontally. So that's the beauty of this launcher. It gives you a lot of options to play with, and at the same time, it has a support for app tray also so it maintains the dual dual layer hierarchy you can say then let us dive into the settings to see what other options you get so if we dive into the arrow settings you can see you have got a change wallpaper option over here where you can change the wallpaper some wallpapers are already installed which you can directly download you can say or set it out but what's interesting is the bing wallpaper update that means every day the wallpaper will be automatically updated by bing if you enable daily bing wallpaper here and you can in fact decide whether you have to download the images on wi-fi or data so that's also an option given here apart from wallpaper if we talk uh, you can dive into the system settings directly from here and uh, languages supports are also good you get english you get hindi support also and all the important languages which you can use practically then uh, you can sync this launcher with the Microsoft account since this is a Microsoft project so this was not that surprising this was expected then uh, you can keep the page header switched on now, how this works let me show you if you keep the page header on you get to see that it is an apps page this one is people page this one is reminders page so all these things can be seen uh, from there only so but I personally don't like this I don't want to see all these things uh, because since I had set the launcher myself so I don't need to see which page is where so obviously I keep this option switched off now there is double tap screen to lock feature also and uh, you need to grant this launcher device administrator permission and then you can obviously double tap and lock your device and this works on any of the devices you don't need any inbuilt software support for this so this is a very good feature and this is present in even nova launcher and uh, other launchers like uh, zen ui launcher and such launchers so this is a very good feature it comes very handy and uh, you don't need to press your lock button every time or power button every time to lock your mobile phone so this is an interesting thing then you get high performance which you can switch off or on and how this works is that if you switch off this all the animations will be switched off so that transitions can be faster then uh, if you switch on this what happens is that the animation effect will be there obviously then uh, you can choose between 24 hour format or 12 hour format depending upon your wish one more interesting feature is there that is hidden apps you can add apps over here and all those apps will be hidden from the app tray menu so that's also interesting and uh, it works very well I have seen this I've in fact used this but I don't want to hide any apps as of now so obviously I don't keep anything over here then you can practically get icon support you can download any of the icon packs from Google Play Store as you can see I've already downloaded and uh, all the icon packs are supported by arrow launcher so I have downloaded Rondo icon pack as it has a kind of in-depth feeling which you just saw on my home screen so almost all the icon packs are supported by this launcher so it's also a good thing you can customize it in one more way you can say then uh, we'll come to this option customize app space later on first of all let me tell you something about this notification badges obviously this looks very obvious you can switch off or switch on this option and uh, it will show you the numbers of the notifications for the apps on the app icon itself so 
that's also supported there then you can see enable im preview which previews your messages on the home screen that means whatever messages you receive you can see on the recent page section which uh, i will show you in a moment obviously i am not going to show you the messages i'll just show you the page over there but i keep this switched on because i don't want to uh, read the messages on my home screen because others can also do the same in public then uh, you have got set default sms app where you can decide which app has to be set as default sms app because from the people's menu you can directly message the people or you can directly call the people so practically you can control which app to be used for dialing or messaging purpose then you have got widgets pagination which we will talk about in a moment and reminder notification also is there so let me now talk about customize apps page as you can see here in my home screen i can scroll down that means i can scroll vertically and my widgets as well as my apps all are on the same page which can be scrolled down it's not on different page but once you switch off this option that is widget pagination just wait for a moment yeah once you switch off this option that is customized apps uses you will see you get a different widget page where you can uh, scroll down and all the widgets will be here on this page and uh, at the same time you get a uh, apps page where you have all the apps only displayed and these apps are automatically arranged based on your users behavior that means the apps that you are using frequently will be displayed uh, at the top next one uh, the apps that are least used will be displayed at the bottom so this way it is automatically displayed so there is some kind of artificial intelligence in this uh, software which Microsoft has applied but I don't use this because I want to customize the apps on the home screen myself and therefore I will go for the different option that is keeping my widgets and apps on the same page and uh, that works great that looks good too if widgets suppose clock widgets will be there on your home screen obviously that is a kind of utility so you would like to have it so I normally keep this feature as switched off that means sorry switched on that means i want to customize my apps page and then i get my widgets as well as my apps on the same page now how this widget pagination option works is that if you switch off this option at the same time if you switch on this option that is widget pagination what happens is like this you can uh, practically this is your page one for widgets this is your page two for widgets and it it is divided into pages and if you switch off this option that means widget pagination is now switched off then you can see you can scroll down the widget page and you can stop at any point the pages are not separated or divided from each other so it works like this and it also works flawlessly so that's a kind of customization that you get so a lot of types of customizations are here which you can use on this launcher and it it looks complete completely different from uh, the other launchers out there on the google play store and uh, that's why whatever devices i switch to i first of all download this launcher on any device and i use this because this is so amazing it looks appealing it looks colorful it looks uh, quite good cool and uh, let me switch on this option customize apps with you. so it looks very good and you can see the icon pack that I have installed is Rondo which uh, gives a kind of shadow to give it a kind of in-depth look and uh, that works great all the icon packs are supported on this and you get some options over here also you can uh, customize your apps you can switch on this option or switch off this option if you switch off this option then all the recent same thing all the recent apps will be uh, all the frequently used apps will be shown here which I don't want so I keep this one so it gives you an access from here only from the home screen and that works flawlessly too then uh, you can edit pages from here the same thing 
and uh, it depends on you which page you want to remove and which page you want to keep suppose i don't want to keep people's page i don't want to keep reminders page i don't want to keep documents page i don't even want to keep recent page i just want to keep my apps page so that is also possible now you will have only your apps page and you can uh, vertically scroll down and you will have no other pages out there so this works amazing this launcher is the one which i feel that it's a kind of perfect launcher although nothing is perfect but this has got a beta team and uh, they keep on updating this launcher from time to time depending upon the user's requests so this was about arrow launcher which we talked and this was a kind of app review so if you want to download this i have put a description about the link of this so you can download it from the, there and uh, if you have liked this video please put a thumbs up if you have not liked this video in the comment box please uh, show your suggestions or views how we can improve our channel how we can do better so your suggestions your support your subscription all these matters much to us thank you for watching have a good day